Hello everyone, this is CI Ankit Bajaj. In previous lecture, we have discussed that how to analyze the balance sheet, how you can read the balance sheet, right, with the help of ratios and general question we have done. General question we have done. Now, what I will be doing, I will be showing you that how to analyze the profit and loss account, how you can read profit and loss account, and what decision you can make before investing your money into any company. So I'll be continuing with Tata Motors uh, financial statement. Then uh, once we will complete Tata Motors financial statement, then we will jump into next financial statement. So I will be sharing the screen in a moment. So you can see here, uh, the profit and loss account of Tata Motors is given and I have taken 10 year data. Right? So if you see here, first line item which is given is gross sales. Right, First line item is given gross sale. Uh, so here sales is given, which includes excise duty, right? Or maybe GST, right? So nowadays GST, uh, excise is not applicable. So they are using old format, right? But you can ignore the excise, you know, because nowadays GST is applicable on every uh, product and services, right? So if you see the net sales of companies, so the net sales of companies, 47,031 crore rupees. This is the net sales of company, right? Now further, if you see, so uh, gross sale and net sale is same here. Here, you know, once they have recorded the sales, now what company will be doing? Company will be recording the expenditure, right? So here they have written increase and decrease in stock, right? So what is increase and decrease in stock? First of all, we'll be doing, I will be writing down the formula here. So you will be getting the better understanding, right? So formula is opening stock minus closing stock. Right? This is the formula of increase and decrease in stock. Opening stock of inventory and closing stock of inventory. Right. Now, if you see here, this value is in negative 69 crore. Right. Value is in negative. Uh, next, uh, previous year, the value is 22 crore. Now, why, why value is negative? Let's suppose opening stock of inventory of company is 100 crore. Right. And at the year end, uh, this is this value is for 1st of 12, 2020. Right. Now, on 31st March 2021, the closing stock of inventory of company is, let's suppose, 110 crore. So now, if you see, closing stock is more than opening stock, right? So if I uh, reduce opening stock by closing stock, so what value I will be getting? It will be 100 crore minus 110 crore. So it is going to be minus 10 crore. Right? This is going to be change in inventory. Now, why we are writing this value into negative, right? My closing inventory is more than opening inventory, right? I think you uh, remember the T-shaped trading account, right? In trading account, what we used to do in debit side, we used to write opening stock. So if I write opening stock here, 100 crore, and if I write closing stock here, uh, there is 110. So there is a difference of 10 crore. So if, if uh, any balancing figure is coming to debit side, so we say it as a profit, right? We say it as a profit, right? So here there will be profit of 110 crore, right? You can ignore the other values. Here, there will be profit of 10 crore rupees. Right? If closing is 110 crore and opening is 100 crore. Right? So now you, you might be thinking that if it is a profit kind of thing, so why we are showing a negative value? Right? Here we are showing negative value just because we are showing this amount in expanded side. Right? So if I'm writing minus 69 crore here or minus 10 crore, according to my calculation, so it I am showing this value in uh, expenditure side. And if I'm writing negative value, so automatically it will decrease my expenditures. Right, if closing stock is more, so it will decrease my expenditures. If my expenditures are reducing, automatic profit will increase. Right, so you have to remember this thing: increase or decrease in stock means if the value is in, it means closing stock is more than opening stock. Right, so here closing stock is more. Right, if value is positive, you can see that opening stock is more. Here opening stock is more. Right, here, opening stock is more than closing stock. Here closing stock is more than opening stock. Right, so this is you have to uh, understand. Right. Then raw material consumed. So during the year, how much raw material company is consumed? So what is going to be formula? Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. This is going to be the formula, right? Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. This is going to be the formula for calculation of raw material consumed, right? So whatever raw material company is consumed, it will be shown as a raw material consumed, right? Power fuel, employee cost, salary, if companies paying salary, if companies paying some amount for provident fund, ASL. So this will be shown in employee cost. Other manufacturing expenses are given, general and administrative expenses, and distribution, miscellaneous expenses are given, right? So here we will get the total of expenditure, right? Now what is going to be the profit uh, before interest, depreciation, and tax, right? 
So here P will IDT profit before interest, depreciation, and taxes given. Right? So how they have calculated 1471. So they took uh, total sales, that is net sales, 47,031 crore minus 45%, 559 crore rupees. Right? If you see other income, so what is the meaning of other income? And right now we have discussed about operating income. Right? We have discussed that whatever income companies are from their regular business. Right? If I talk about Maruti, what is the regular business of Maruti? The regular business of Maruti is uh, manufacturing of car and selling of car. Right? Now, let's suppose apart from uh, this uh, profit which they are earning from selling of car, uh, there are chances that company may earn some other income also. Let's suppose uh, Tata Motors they have invested into different different securities. Right? They have invested into Reliance. They have invested into Tata Motors shares. They will be generating some profit. Right, they will be uh, generating some dividend, and in so those other income will be shown here, right? Interest income or rental income or several other incomes which uh, Tata Motors can earn, right? So this will be shown here separately. So what is the operating operating profit? So PBIDT plus uh, other income is going to be operating profit, right? Now once you will be reducing the interest from operating profit, right? Once you will be reducing the interest from operating profit, so you will get profit before depreciation and tax, and here you can see. Companies paying interest and now companies in loss. The companies in loss. What is the reason why companies in loss? Now, if you see the previous figures, so company is in profit. You know, in the last 10 years, except one year, company is in profit. But due to COVID, companies in loss, right? Now, uh, if you charge depreciation here, right? If you charge depreciation here, so they are charging depreciation, right? So now, once you will be reducing depreciation from PBDT, you will be getting profit before tax, right? So now companies in loss, they are charging depreciation. So every year you will find that company is in loss. Right? Now, when we have uh, discussed uh, balance sheet ratios, we have discussed about return on asset. Right? I will show you those ratios. You know, in last uh, lecture, we have talked about return on asset, return on equity, and return on capital employee. Right? So if you see here, their values are negative. Why their values are negative? Because company is not making any profit. The company is not any profit. Further, if you see, we have seen asset turnover ratio. So asset turnover ratio of company is very low. Why the asset turnover ratio is company is very low? Because you know company is not able to generate proper return, right? 100 crore company ne invest kiya hai, or 74 crore ka sales achieve kar paayi company. So obviously, in this case, me kya hoga? Company will make loss. Why? Because company has invested more, and company is not able to get return. And so company will be company has invested so huge amount in assets. So definitely, they will be charging huge depreciation also, right? So you will find here the reason why company is making losses. Right? So you can hear company is charging depreciation. And companies making huge, huge losses. Sorry, this is the depreciation. Right? The company is making losses every year, right? Now, if I talk about depreciation, so here company has created provision for depreciation. The company has created, ah, sorry, provision for income tax. So after charging uh, tax, company's profit is given here. Right? That is PET. Are you able to see? So that is the reason company is not able to earn profit because company has made a huge investment, but company is not able to generate proper returns, right? So this is about the PL account of the motors, right? In next issue, we will see multiple PL ratios and we will try to understand more things about uh, Tata Motors, right? So one thing I would like to inform you here, if you will be analyzing the financial statement of Wipro Dead or technology based companies, so what you will find there, you will find that uh, raw metal consumer these items will be missing because obviously for service sector, there is no requirement of raw material, very less raw material required, right? So further we will be discussing, stay tuned with us for more learning. Thank you.